He probably did. He probably doing something different though. Lance. No, he was doing testosterone. I mean, he was definitely doing that too. They, they, those guys were doing. A, he was doing a lot. They do everything they can when they do that Tour de France. Mm. They doctors say that it's actually healthier to do that thing on steroids than it is to not be on steroids because mm. your body just can't recover. Yeah. Because you're you're biking for hours and hours and hours, day after day. It's a f- f- crazy event. I think if you biking and doing like that, let them do steroids. Right. But fighting, I'm against that. Right. It's fighting, different. Yeah, football, boxing, MMA, like that. But football, you know they're doing something. Yeah, you know they're doing it. But those but, guys are gigantic. Yeah, but I think if you if you got full contact against another human, I think it's it should be outlawed. But baseball I right. wouldn't give a f- It would only make it interesting. And basketball, yeah. yeah, I wouldn't care. Right. Who cares? Yeah, who cares? Yeah. Yeah. Especially they're professional athletes. They got a small window of opportunity. Yeah. They have like 10, 15 years at most where they can compete at, at their very best. Yeah, let those guys juice. Juice Fuck them it. up. Yeah, let them do, help them how to do it safely, but fighting. Right. Because you can hurt somebody. Because some people are, are totally against it. Well, the only way it makes sense in fighting is if everybody agrees. You know, like if you agree, but if you're cheating, you know, if you're just jobbing the tests and, you know, you got a good scientist that works with you and you're figuring out a way to rig everything. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I'm against it because I fought a few guys that was on steroids when I was fighting in Pride. Who would you fight that was like the most obvious on steroids? <sighs> For me, I, I felt like it was the most obvious was Kevin Random and R.I.P. I don't ever want to talk ill of, of Big Bro, but... Mark Coleman, he uh, he he's honest about it. You know, yeah. they they were doing something. Vanellay for sure was on this. For sure, for sure, for sure, <laughs> for sure. And I bro, think, he fought like he was on it. Oh my god, he fought like he had rabies. Bro, he that guy was so vicious. He just walked around mad the whole time. You know, all the fighters in Japan were scared of him. That's why he didn't like me because I was never afraid of him. Mm. And once the first time I had a run in with Vanellay, we were all staying at the same hotel, and I'm walking back from press, and I get in on the elevator with my corner man. And the elevator opens up, and it's Vanellay in there with two of his corner men. And I just, I don't know this. I just walk on the elevator, <laughs> and I turn around, and my two corner men took off. No. So I'm in the elevator by myself with Vanellay. And he looked at me like I was crazy because I didn't take off with them. Like, he, he, he seemed like he was mad that I was breathing his same air in the elevator. <laughs> He's like, what are you doing? And they was talking in Portuguese and stuff like that. I was like, I ain't, I ain't afraid of nobody. I was a kid then, too. But I just never been afraid of anybody. Then after I meet my, my two corners, I'm like, what the fuck? Why the fuck? I go, like, shit, I was the axe murderer. I'm not getting nerve with him. <laughs> <laughs> just leave. I said, like, so you just want to leave? You. <laughs> they didn't even pull you out. They didn't even touch me. Oh, that's so ridiculous. Yeah. I would have never trusted those dudes again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just left me with that. But I was, I, was, I was cool, but he never liked me. Were you there when he had that uh, fight with Charles Crazy Horse Bennett in the no, back room? No, I wasn't there. Apparently, about it. the story is Crazy Horse knocked him out cold. Yeah, I heard that. That's the story. Is the story yeah. is they ganged up on Crazy Horse. And Crazy Horse was a wild dude. That dude was crazy. He was fun. I remember uh, I got drunk with Crazy Horse one night. Me and I think it was Eddie Bravo went to see. Um, Brock Lesnar's first professional fight in L.A. at the Coliseum. Was it with the UFC? No. Oh. No. I think it was with K-1. I think it was a K-1 fight in, in Los Angeles. I might have been there. Hoist Gracie fought that night. I think Hoist Gracie fought Sakuraba, if I remember correctly. Was that a rematch? Cause I thought he yes. fought Oh, okay. Yes. I, I wasn't there. I don't think I was there. And he beat him. And Hoist was a little saucy. He got caught. <laughs> Hoist beat Sakuraba in the rematch? Yeah, but Hoist was saucy. Mm. They caught him in the piss test. Mm. If I remember correctly, mm. check to see if that's true. But uh, I sat right next to Crazy Horse. Just me and him got up the entire show. That guy's crazy. We had fun. He's funny, man. Yeah. We, we had a lot of laughs. But he was a wild dude. You know man. what he's doing now? What's he doing now? He's in Thailand fighting for fight circus. You heard about them? No. Man, he's fighting like two two motherfuckers at the same time, two Thai dudes at the same time. I said, man, this shit what? Man, this shit look fun. I want to do that. Shit. How big are the Thai dudes? They 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 about his size. They, they, they're his size. He's fighting two on one. Two on one in Thailand. 